Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be going over the set focus button. Um, to get to that, you're going to hit these three dots in the top right corner here, and then as you can see it says set focus. So um, just a heads up on this, what we're going to do is, uh, as you can tell, you may hear the Glowforge um, making its whining noise in the background here. Hopefully you can't hear that with the new microphone. But if you can, it is on, and I threw a piece of scrap, um, thick walnut proof grade material in here, just so I can use this as an example. So uh, what we're going to do here first is um, we're going to go ahead and set this to thick walnut uh, plywood here. And obviously you just seen it kind of focus based on what um, thickness it believes that it is, and you can check that here. Um, so right here is the thickness that it believes that it is automatically. Um, so in reality, this thickness could be different. Um, so to use set focus, um, you're all you're going to have to do is click these three dots, click set focus, and then you're going to have to click somewhere on your material. Because if you click on your, your tray over here, this image is going to shift and um, it's not going to be the right thickness and then you won't get a good cut or engrave on it. So um, click anywhere on your material, uh, preferably where your graphics going to be so it can get as close as possible. So I'm going to click dead center and then um, I don't know if you could actually hear the machine but the laser head will home to the center and then it'll shine a like a bright red dot for a second to measure your thickness. And then once it's done doing that there we go, it just hummed back, uh, your your laser head will hum back to the home position all the way in the top left corner of your machine. Um, so that's it, that is that is set focus. So as you can see, it's now set to auto. So however thick that material is, is automatically put in there. So this will work for like non-proof grade material, um, any kind of proof grade material, um, whether I have non-proof grade or proof grade, I always select something out of here. So if I have like a quarter inch thick material that's non-proof grade, I usually select like a uh, thick um, walnut or thick maple just so it has like a starting point. And then I adjust these power settings manually to whatever I need it to be. Um, most of the time it's a thousand speed full power for engraves that usually works pretty good for me for most quarter inch. but. You can get um, tricky in there. You can change like your lines per inch. Um, so how, how many lines is going to engrave at a time. But that's pretty much set focus there. So I and um, one other thing, like obviously the reason why I did the um, scrap material here is let's say I did set focus and you click way over here. Well, that's not on your material. So what it's going to do is it's going to measure all the way down to the crumb tray. So it's probably going to set it on like 0 0.01 um, thickness. And then this image where it's going to fall once it's done is going to be in the wrong spot. Um, so it's basically when it auto focuses, it may look like you're going to print here, but if it thinks that you are at a 0 0.01 inches thick, it's most likely going to print way to the left or way to the right, depending on which way it, it does that whenever it focuses wrong. I'm not sure, but that was just a heads up. So obviously if you have a full sheet in here, um, you won't have to worry about that because the laser head will automatically, uh, focus to any point that you click on that sheet and uh, I believe if you forget to click autofocus and you just click print it's going to do autofocus automatically and it's going to try and land um, to the best point where it thinks it should land but that's why it's important to manually do the set auto or set focus here so you can click on your material itself right where you know the thickness of your material is going to be set at. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That is uh, set focus. Um, that's what you're going to want to do to all of your material. Um, now, if you don't have, um, like, let's say you don't have the crumb tray in there and you need to know the thickness of your material 
and then deduct the crumb tray. I've got another video on how to do that. Um, I'll put that in the description if I remember to link that there. Um, I'll put both the old way so you manually know how to do it and then the new way where you can do these uh, set focus just like I showed you here. So um, in order to know your actual material thickness, you will need a digital caliper, um, if I'm pronouncing that right. I'll throw a picture of that on the screen right now for you. You can get that on Amazon or, or Menards or anywhere that um, sells tools usually. I'll throw a, an affiliate link in the description for one of those too if you need those from Amazon. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out. And we'll catch you guys next time.